Hi guys, welcome to Nick Barlow Radiology and this latest short report. I thought I'd share this case with you of the patient who presented following RTC. They've got known multiple right rib fractures um, and they're checking the site of the newly placed intercostal drain. So if we zoom in on that, we can see here we've got the chest drain coming in here. We've got the two ports here and here, and we've got the tip of the drain over the perihyla region. There is some surgical emphysema there at the drain entry site, which is only minor. We've got skin folds here, guys, so be careful not to confuse them with pneumothoraces. But actually, if we zoom in on this upper zone, apologies if it's not very clear, but I'll put arrows on it. There is a pleural surface there with no markings beyond it. So that's a small right apical pneumothorax. I'm not going to bother to measure it because it's only tiny and they won't do anything if it's under three centimetres anyway, to be fair. There's linear atelectasis down here, which is incidental. It's of no real significance. We do have elevation of the right hemidiaphragm compared with the left by other three centimetres, so that implies there's some volume loss in the right hemithorax, which we'll mention in the report. The heart size looks normal, normal pulmonary vascularity, and there's no acute bony abnormality when compared with the previous x-ray. You'll just have to take my word for it on that because I don't have the previous to hand. So in the report, they specifically asked about the site of the drain. So it's always important to answer the clinical question obviously compare with the previous studies that you've got available so in the bulk of the report i've just described the features that we we're talking about there the raised hemidiaphragm the atelectasis i've described the place of the um, chest drain and the small pneumothorax so i've summarized there is really important because clinicians don't always have time to read the full report if we get a summary in there answering the question so there's a small right apical pneumothorax and I've described where the tip of the intercostal drain is in that summary. All right, guys, thanks very much for listening. If you've liked it, drop us a like. and um, Please subscribe to the channel and share with your colleagues. The next video will be about normal chest variants, so stay tuned for that. And, yeah, see you soon. Bye for now.